Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim, and welcome to Out There. We are doing reasonably well at the moment. We've got, you know, a, a resonance generator attached to our shield, which, uh... Maintain the precise camera to control, protect the ship against the fear of a star. We've got a, uh, a solar sail, which reduce fuel costs for interplanetary travel. We're doing not bad. Right. Where are we going to jump to this time? There's a supernovae. There's a yellow dwarf. But that leads us down a single track. I do not like going down a single track. Or we could back up here to something closer, which is a red dwarf. I haven't hit the red dwarf. <gasps> My ship approaches a huge and strange construction. It's really alien, very different from anything I've seen before. Words appear on my computer screen. Words in my own language. Man from the Earth. We are watching you. It's like Big Brother. Your journey is about much more than your mere existence, and about five million viewers. Uh, survive, and we shall open the way to your eternal quest. Come to Onglo Judges slash Architects. There you shall find the answers you seek. We've learned the Gravitational Well Generator. Well, 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 well. Hey, hey, see what I did there? Uh, let's look at the gravitational well generator then. Um, we need iron and we need copper. And it allows me to jump to more distant systems. It's basically a necessity. Uh, the further you go on, the bigger the gap between stars tends to get. So I need copper and I need iron. I need iron anyway. Copper will have to be grabbed at a suitable world. Right. Hmm. What are we looking for right now? In terms of uh, elements. We are looking for possibly a live seed, which requires platinum. Uh, copper and iron. I definitely need iron. No doubt about that in my mind. I really need iron. Okay. Hit the rocky planets. It's the only place to find the iron. The planet hopes to life it is now dead. Nearby the high walls of an empty stone city, I find a structure holding several statues. Besides, there's a pillar. A pile of components. One of them is a broken space folder. There's something unknown here. Oval in shape, but could be the use of this. I must study it. I've learned a wormhole generator. Okay, so that's the one that allows me to jump from black hole to black hole. The wormhole generator is iron and gold. I lost gold. I had it last episode and I dropped it. But I can always get it back. But that does require a Omega to be able to jump between black holes. It allows you to go very far very quickly, but... Uh, the downside is you don't really learn much on the way. I'm dubious about getting that. It also requires iron and gold. I mean, if I get it, I might build it, but it'll take up space. That's the issue. Do I want to drill? There we go. I can drill now. I'll actually talk my oxygen off as well. Yeah, we're good to drill. I'm probably going to have to drop something. Or not. Very well. But we're certainly going to repair our hull a little bit. Take off. Go to the new planet. Hopefully find something interesting here. Eight iron. Right. It's not really enough. Fine. Take off. And before I drop my probe, I need to mix stuff around because as soon as we get stuff from this, I won't be able to put it into the reactor core. I'm going to have to drop something. At least one thing, probably two. I'm thinking we drop the oxygen because I can always use silicon as life support. That does mean I won't be able to use the tree of life thing. Um, turning any rocky planet into a garden planet is very useful. Uh, I certainly would like that. You know, it would get me get different elements. It would allow me to encounter life, which has a load of advantages. Do I have anything requiring tungsten? Because I could just get rid of tungsten. I know I have a lot of tungsten on me. Film resonance generator, but that's built. I think we get rid of the tungsten. I know we've got a lot of it, but it's not necessary for anything. We're going to be dropping the tungsten. 
And I could use up my iron right now, and that would give me a second slot. I think we have to. My hull's, you know, pretty low anyway. In the end, I didn't need to do anything. Because I got a very low amount of hydrogen. Didn't even make up for actually coming here. But oh well. You know, sunk cast and all that. We're here. We'll do our duty and then we'll fly on. Hopefully find something very decent. Um, I'll hit this nearby red giant. Distant orbit around a double planet. I hide behind the one that is smaller. Almost an asteroid. And I observe the other with my telescope is inhabited. Large termites living in rectangular burrows. An ochreish ocher red ship lies in ambush nearby, shooting at them. They are scared. I see them offering sacrifices and gifts to this terrifying deity. I could destroy the enemy ship, but I'm guessing that would take hull damage. That said, I actually need fuel. I get ready and form a rapid and rough landing right on the enemy ship, which is destroyed. Half thrust into the ground when I come about. Make my way outside. Too much, not many language offer me minerals and their kindness of sacrifice. I decline the latter, accept the former, and leave. Until they change their mind. I gained 10 iron, but I took 15 damage. I'm going to say that's probably worth it. It does concern me that we actually are very low on fuel now, though. So I'm going to use up the last of my life support. Ooh. No, I need it to be able to make the uh, the garden planet machine. Seven. Not a good haul. We're actually probably going to die here. We're probably dead. Thirty-one fuel. Twenty-three away. It'll take ten fuel to do that. And then we won't be able to use the... the probe. We're going to have to try and land on the garden planet, which is going to require two rolls of the be lucky, and then land, and then try get given uh, Omega element, and then use the Omega element. It's risky, and we're dead. <sighs> mm, so close. Every time, so very, very close. Really annoying. Really annoying. Because I, I don't even I don't even know I don't even know how we're meant to do this differently. Uh, it seems that every time I'm trying to do as, you know as well as I can, but we never seem to come out on top. We always we always suffer, um, and I'm I'm not exactly sure why every time we suffer so badly. I don't not sure what I could do differently. I think that's one of the, the things I don't like about the game. Uh, I, I generally I love the game. Uh, I love the, the art style, but I think the one thing I really don't like about the game is it doesn't seem to indicate how I can do any better. And every time I seem to fail, that's about the furthest I get is, you know, there or a little bit further. I, I, I'm not sure how to up my game. I mean, we had a pretty sexy ship and all, like 16 spaces, you know, improved shields, uh, solar sails. Those of our elements, just no fuel. I do think fuel is one of these things that just drains a little bit too fast. Hmm. Also, what does it say spaceships used? I used two. You're wrong. We could do a restart. Let's do a restart. There's still temps left in this episode. Right. Down there. Come on. Yeah, dwarf. Drill into the tentacle or be friendly. Uh, huge eye creature, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to be friendly. It works. The tentacle retreated and I flew away quickly with the curious eye. I'll be seeing you, buddy. Okay, bye-bye. Well, quick landing. Confirm. Quick drill. 
Oh, hell yeah, this is a good start. Wow, really good start. Um, too good a start, actually. I'm not going to have enough space. I didn't expect this good a start. I, I could optimize my start. I could chuck the hydrogen immediately into the fuel. But we're going to have to leave some behind, which, you know, at the end of the day is not terrible. Do not, do not look a gift horse in the mouth, unless it happens to be a Trojan horse, in which case you probably should. Alright, let's try this gas giant. Wow, there's a lot of hull damage. Wasn't that really high before? That's a lot of hull damage. Hmm. Uh, let's do our probe. I'm going to probe all the way to seven. I do need fuel. Thank you. Thank you. And since we've got so much, I probably will uh, do another fuel probe. Five, which is ten, and I spent four, so worth it. Let's just uh, double them up. Right. Take off. What have we got? Blue giant. Supernova. I'm going to go for the supernova. No major damage, but the sudden acceleration knocked me out on the way down. I smashed my hydrogen probe. <sighs> well, at least we repaired it. That's what matters, right? Uh, oxygen. I'm a little bit low, but I am actually in a system with a oxygen world. Uh, I also got a, a rocky world. And a gas giant. So, hit up the oxygen planet to begin with. The reason I'm hitting up to begin with is because if it's got technology... I want to be able to know what to pick at the rocky planet. Hello, Leroyd. Um, something about melt. Melt, melt, melt. I'm going to disapprove of the melter. It wants iron. Okay, here's iron. It likes my gift. I've got Omega. I've learned the Ultra Probe. I've learned good, want Omega iron. So he wanted Omega for iron. Cool. And I've got the, uh, the uh, Ultra Probe, which uh, does... Multiplies the efficiency of the hydrogen probe. I can even use it around stars. The game news I was bitching about, like, not being ha able to use... Oh my god, this is amazing. I need somewhere to build it. Iron, platinum, silicon. Goodbye, Thorium. Bye. I mean, I could have used the fuel. That was a waste of thorium. I could have just, you know, used the fuel like that. But anyway, craft. I am well up for a much improved uh, thing that I can use around stars. Because that means in every every system I can get some fuel. Some. I mean, it means I need to trade hull because I'm going next to a star. But. Oh, I I'm actually going to drill there. Yeah, I'm going I'm to drill. I'm going to use that. For up some space. Copper, carbon, I'll pass on the oxygen. Finish. Take off. Alright, let's top oxygen reserves up. And do we want to build anything, actually? I don't think there's anything we can build. We've built the Ultra Probe. I think we're good. I mean, we would like some iron for our hull. I mean, that, that goes basically without saying. A little bit more fuel wouldn't hurt. Now, the, the problem is here... I don't have any space to put anything. I might just dump the oxygen. But ultimately, I, I should probably dump the carbon. I know I just picked it up, but I have no use for it. Same goes for copper. I should have probably waited until I picked something up to dump them. I know. Getting impatient. Probe. Good haul. Good haul. Alright, let's grab that. Immediately use the hydrogen. Eh, we'll use most of the helium. Not even most, actually. Just just below half. And we could go to the irony planet. The rocky planet. I don't know what we'd really find there. And frankly, I'd rather keep the fuel. So we're going to keep moving on. Red Dwarf. 
Feeling of being near other people. Good for you. So a few rocky plants. I think the game is trying to tell me something. We'll go for one of these then. Alright, let's top our fuel up. We've got a couple of spaces. That should be plenty. I'm actually going to top the oxygen up as well. Just in case we need to drop the oxygen. And we'll drill at six. More platinum. Some iron. I do need iron, so I'm happy with that. And frankly, the platinum is good any day. Since I already have some in my inventory, it doesn't really take up any more space. We'll also go to the second planet. And we'll drill here. This is what I'm talking about. Good amounts of iron. Right, so we've also got tungsten. I don't know what I could do with the tungsten. I mean, I could take it with me. There is 13 of it. I could drop the hafnium. Generally, I think hafnium is more useful. I very rarely see stuff for tungsten. I mean, I'm going to kick myself if I end up having something that I need, you know, tungsten for. But I think we're done. Take off. And I will, of course, want to stop by for some fuel. Five left. Use of the last of our oxygen. Got one space. We can free up a second space. Yeah, I'm freeing up that second space. That's a good amount of fuel. I'm actually going to use some of it. Right now, and I'm going to do a second batch. Worth it, because that equates to almost 20 units of fuel. We just spent five, so we're getting four times our return. Don't count getting here. It's a sunk cost. If we start thinking about, you know, what we've done to get here, you know, it doesn't matter. We've made those decisions already. You can't affect them. Let's jump. Where are we going to jump to? Red Dwarf. It's cold outside. No man, that must be Anyway, um, I don't know. We hit the blue giant, but... I like the idea of the Red Dwarf. So let's do a body orbit. It's slowly, strangely, I find it comprehend the shape as if it was covered in blind spots. It spins and dances like a wild animal and suddenly feels like vulnerable play a uh, prey. And a wait. It simply disappears. What could it have been? Okay. Fine. Run away from me, I'm scary. Well, we could hit the rocky planet. I mean at the end of the day I don't know what I really want from Rocky Planet. I've got full uh, iron and I have no new technologies to use, so I'm actually gonna ignore it. There is no point here up. And I'm going to hit up the red giant here. The start of it looks a little odd, but when my engine suddenly shut down, I knew it was in trouble. I'm in a big cloud, liquid and transparent. I analyze it. It's pure ethanol alcohol. Ethyl formate, to be exact. An organic ester that smells like rum. Mm. I fill some sample tubes with it while considering how to escape the situation. Power the engines or jettison some cargo. I don't really want to lose any of my cargo. And if I power the engines, it will damage the hull. And I have plenty of iron to repair the hull with, so I'm going to do that. Sparking nice alcohol and combined with the volatile exhaust from my ship, instantly transforms the cloud into a small star. As I fight my cannon, my ship is hurled from space at impossible speeds. Part of the hull is torn away by the heat and pressures from only if I've killed myself. I take 40 damage to the hull. And then I merely use some of my iron to repair it. And I use some more of my hand to repair it. There we go, I've got two spaces left. And I can make three if need be. I could have the rocket planet. But then again, like I've already said, I would only want iron. Eh, it's probably still worth it. Definitely worth it. Grab that. Grab extra iron. It wasn't, you know, the iron mother load I was hoping, but it was worthwhile. Finish. And I will want to hit up this gas giant no matter what. I'm gonna have to make space in my hull. I couldn't stop it. I wish I really wish you could stop things being used. You have to have two spaces to be able to use half of an object. It doesn't make sense. Um life support, I can't really do anything about that. I might just throw a block of silicon away. I don't need that much silicon. So let's start probing. Oh, yes. I want all of that. The 
by Thorium. Sorry, but that's the way it's got to be. Num 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 and num. And then I'm going to hit it up again. Carefully, because I don't want it to be damaged. I don't have the iron to repair it. And without the iron to repair it, we could get really screwed. Supernova. Red giant. There's a huge metal cube here, floating in space. In its center, I see a square shaped opening with the words written something, something, something iron. Its opening glows bright yellow, not unlike a hellish furnace. I'm going to enter. Amazing! Millions of robotic arms approach and start working on the structure of my ship. Moments later, the arms have checked me. Strange space factory. I checked the hull. It's as good as new! Which was only a repair of four, but fine. Now, there is a rocky planet here for me to repair on, though. Now, let's top up that. I do need oxygen. Got to be aware that oxygen is actually one of the things I desperately need. Noise. Uh, hafnium. Good. I'll take the silicon as well. It can't hurt. Uh, if the oxygen runs out, I can always use my element zero, which I've been keeping. I call it element zero. It's omega. If you know what I mean. I don't know whether I hit the star for fuel line. I've got plenty of fuel. I know I normally bang on about fuel being the issue, but... The fuel upgrade we got, the uh, Ultra Scoop, or whatever it's called, Ultra Probe, is really doing us justice. I'm going to ignore the gas giant. And I'm going to continue on. But that'll be next episode. I've been Enter Elysium. We are going to end it here. I'm sorry, folks, but we're doing fairly well this time around. I do say that every time, and then we die. So, you know, expect us death soon. Us death soon. Expect death from us soon. Uh, and also, you know, uh, improved use of the word death and dead. And, you know, soon I will understand the English language, hopefully. But until then, I've been Edgerless. If you enjoyed it, remember to like. It really helps out since we're all alone in our starship. It really supports us through this vast empty void. And, you know, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. But until next time, stay shiny.